Well, hello and Merry YouTube Christmas. <laughs> oh gosh, oh look at that. Sparkles of silver and gold. It really is Christmas time. Okay, everybody, well, it is that time of year. I can't believe it. It just sneaks up on me every single year. I know y'all probably have been expecting like decorate and home tours and whatnot already, but listen, people, it is still November. And I feel like Halloween was just here and I'm trying to get into the holiday spirit. So in order to do that, I would love to take y'all with me to the Goodwill bins. People, we have not been here in a minute, okay? I actually just went recently and the girl was like, where have you been? And I'm like, listen, I ain't got all the time and all the money in the world to be here. So we are gonna go ahead and do that. And then afterwards, I'm gonna bring you back here and I'm gonna show you the items that I've found. So while we're on the Christmas theme, I would love to introduce you guys to my friend Hillary from the YouTube channel Old World Home. So some of you guys may have been led to my channel from her like two years ago. She is just the sweetest thing. She reached out to me a little over two years ago when we actually did a Christmas clothing swap thrifting challenge thing together. So I'll link that video here. So I owe so much to Hillary because she reached out to me when my channel was brand new. I mean, this may not have even been like my 10th video. <laughs> I was so new to this at that time. She really, really helped me out by telling y'all about me and the stuff that I do. And so I just wanna give her a huge shout out. If you guys are interested in like vlog style videos, her decorating stuff is so beautiful. She has such a timeless and classic style. And if you guys are looking for somebody to kind of like spend your days with, she does lots of like daily vlog type stuff, including Vlogmas each year. So I promise you that you guys will get so much out of her channel. She has just such a sweet and kind personality. And again, thank you so much for helping me out when I was so small, Hillary. I really, really appreciate you. Okay, so before we get started over in the bins, I would love to share with you guys a little bit about today's video sponsor, Foreo. So I was sent over the Luna 4 a few weeks ago and I've been using it and really liking it so far. So for those of you who are not familiar, the Luna 4 is a two-in-one smart facial cleansing and firming device. I've actually never had a facial cleanser like this and it works really well. I'll show you guys a little bit of the app right here, but you can guide your massages through this. It's made of ultra hygienic silicone with relaxing T-sonic pulsation. This is clinically proven to remove 99% of dirt and oil and residue, and it's 35 times more hygienic than brushes with nylon bristles. You can choose between sensitive, combination, or balanced depending on your skin type, and you can get up to 600 uses per USB charge. I'll show you guys some footage of me using it to kind of like showcase my experience with this product. To cleanse your skin, start by unlocking your device and registering your warranty with the Foreo for You app. Dampen your face and apply your regular face cleanser. Then wet the Luna 4. Press the universal button to turn on your device. Then you can choose between gentle, regular, or deep cleanse. Guide the silicone touch points on the front of the Luna 4 in a circular motion over your face and neck until your skin is cleansed. If you'd like to firm your skin, apply a thin layer of your desired skincare products. Double press the universal button to activate the firming massage. Gently glide the back of the device from the center of your face to the outside of your face in upward lines. Your device will turn off automatically after one minute and once you're complete, rinse the device with soap and water. So this product is rarely on discount, but you guys can use my link below and the first 100 viewers can get 35% off. All right, now let's get to the Goodwill bins. Okay, everybody, I am at the Goodwill outlet <laughs> and I have not been here in so long. I just had a few minutes and I thought I would just stop in a little bit today, see if I can find anything cute for like Christmas time. So let's go ahead and check out what we got. All right, and we are back. Y'all, it's been so long since I've been here. Goodwill Outlet can be such a gamble. <laughs> like, honestly, you just never know what you're gonna find in here. Sometimes it's awesome, sometimes it's terrible, but today I actually had great luck, so I'm excited to show you guys what I found. I thought these placemats were kind of cute. They've got that green and white gingham that I like so much, but there were a couple stains on it. And honestly, I mostly liked one side and not the other. Also, there was only four, so I did leave these behind. I thought that these prints on these little boards were kind of cool too, but honestly, we have no need for them. And listen, if you're ever looking for a crusty old bucket, the Goodwill bins is the place to find it. <laughs>
They had a few baskets here that I was interested in, as well as this cute little bear. But I don't know, sometimes if bears aren't soft enough, I just don't bring them home because if they're not nice and soft, then our girls don't typically play with them. I'll get into bears a little bit later, but that's part of why I left this one behind. I did think that this deer was pretty cool, but then I realized that it was guns underneath it and it was missing the antlers, so there was no use in picking it up. I thought this little bunny was cute too, but it was a little bit stained up, and honestly, if things aren't in like perfect condition at the bins, I usually leave them behind. This one was a Boyd's Bear though. The bins actually had some awesome books this day. I'm telling you, if you were ever looking for vintage or antique books, this is the place to go. Our Goodwill Bins has these for three for a dollar. I think that currently our bins is at like $1.48 a pound. It keeps going up and up. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, so I did run to grab these and then I set them in one of the bins to get a better look at them, but I thought that these were so cute. I thought that this shelf was really neat. It looked like it was almost hand carved on the side. I don't know if it was, but it was great and it was sturdy and in good condition, but it was heavy and y'all know how it is at the Goodwill bins. If it's heavy, it's gonna be expensive. I really did like this country living book. I flipped through all the pages, but I tried to just show you guys some of my favorites, but oh my gosh, there were so many beautiful pictures for inspiration here. But honestly, with Pinterest these days, it's hard to just not do that instead, you know? Okay, so that actually turned out really well. I had kind of low expectations for the bins, especially like around Christmas time. I was thinking that all of the stores were probably gonna have tons of Christmas decorations and nothing would be at the bins, but I was actually really surprised. So let me go ahead and get these all home. I probably won't have time to record today, but maybe tomorrow I can get these all out and I can show y'all what I got for Christmas this year. All right, everybody, let's jump into it. First of all, y'all can see that I'm wearing this amazing Boyd's Bears. <laughs> sweatshirt look at this is that not like cute okay you guys i have to admit this is like it's kind of my style not really my style there is a part of me that kind of loves that like vintage 80s 90s like what our moms wore when we were kids kind of thing oh my gosh but i'm not 100 sure if i'm like that dedicated <laughs> shirt first of all it's kind of falling apart like you can see like the applique or if that if that's what you call it is coming off like all the sparkles are barely hanging on i tried putting it over my head and i realized there's like a giant i don't even know what is happening here something's happening on the neckline something's happening on the sleeves <laughs> like this thing is not in good condition probably why it was at the goodwill bins and not at the Goodwill because how could they not put this in the Goodwill? Somebody would clearly pick that up so quickly. <laughs> anyway, I just thought that I had to wear it for this video. Maybe I'll wear it to like an ugly Christmas sweater party or something like that. Maybe this will just go right back to the Goodwill. <laughs> I don't know, but I had to wear it for you. You guys, this is the aesthetic that I'm going for, okay? I'm not going for a shirt with bears like this on it. Like, I wanna be these bears. Like, I wanna have this sweater. I wanna wear this dress. Where do I find these things? That's the real question. <laughs> Anyway, I thought that y'all would just enjoy the Boyd's Bears. I wish I collected them. I don't, but I probably should collect them. No, I don't need to collect anything else more in my life. But I've always loved Boyd's Bears, and I've been so tempted to pick them up a few times in the store. But realistically, I don't know if our kids would really like play with them. And I don't like having a whole lot of things in our house, especially kids' items that are just for display. You know what I mean? So... Anyway, I've always kind of like passed on the Boyd's Bears, but maybe I shouldn't. Next, I did find, oh gosh, it's got a big dent in it. Oh gosh. I found this cute little Norman Rockwell tin. So I know a lot of you guys collect this type of stuff. I'm not always a huge tin fan, but I love Norman Rockwell. We've got like multiple books of all of his Christmas illustrations and whatnot. And so I figured I would pick this one up. It's got three different designs on it. So it has the Saturday Evening Post. I also have like a big collection of Saturday Evening Posts. Maybe I can show you guys sometime. But I just thought it was so cute with the little pictures of Santa on it. Look at that. This is probably my favorite one. Him like sleeping with the elves playing all over him. You know what? I was so 
distracted by everything that I didn't even think to look for if this had a lid, but I think in my brain, I was just thinking like, oh, wouldn't this be so cute to like set a little Christmas tree in or something? So I think that that is the goal for my Christmas decoration this year is to put a tree in it, you know? So speaking of putting a tree in it, this is not necessarily a Christmas item, but I also found this old bucket and you guys, I don't know what is wrong with me. I think that sometimes people see things like this in the store and they're like, why would you ever pick that up? That is so busted, rusted, crusted. And you're right, it is. The first thing I liked about this is that it has holes in the bottom. And that may not sound good to you guys, but I love that that makes this available to be used as like a plant pot, you know, so that if I have something that is in here that, that has some drainage holes so I can set it out on my front porch or something with, I don't know, some kind of plant in it. In order to get that like very like lived in look, sometimes you gotta have some busted, rusted, crusted stuff, okay? That is what I'm hoping to do with this. Maybe put it out on the front porch, maybe put some greenery in it. Listen, I don't really know yet, okay? It's been a minute since my Christmas decorations have been out. I don't really remember what goes where. We're gonna just be figuring it all out together again this year. So hopefully I can find a little tree or something that I can place in this guy. Next, I found this big spool of this stuff. <laughs> I don't know what you wanna call this, like ribbon? Is it? It's like, I don't even know if it's burlap. Can y'all tell, is that burlap? Anyway, but I found this whole thing there and I just love using this like really natural looking stuff for wrapping presents and whatnot. We always need ribbon and whatnot. It's not like the cutest thing in the world, but again, in order to have that like well-loved lived in look, you have to have a lot of like neutrals, natural colors, kind of like earthy stuff. The key is to not have everything screaming all the time. So this is perfect for that because this doesn't scream anything. Okay, so disclaimer, <laughs> I actually didn't pick this up this time around at the Goodwill bins, but I did pick it up at the Goodwill bins earlier this year and you guys in the comments were like all about it. It's hard to get it to focus, but it's actually a Christmas vacation themed wrapping paper. You guys can see like the house with all the lights on it. We love National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. It's literally one of my all time favorite movies. I don't know if it like perfectly goes with our aesthetic, but I know that if I wrapped my dad's present in this or like my sister's present, they would just love it so much. I couldn't leave it behind. It's completely unopened and I don't know how much wrapping paper costs. Maybe it costs more than it would to just buy it at the store, but I figured it was a pretty good deal. Okay, and next, I don't know if I actually got footage of these because I actually grabbed them off of one of the bins that they were rolling out to go into the landfill. There was a kind man that like helped me snag these because I was like running after it. But I did find these two little pillows. So we've got one, two. They're this sweet little green gingham and I thought that they were so cute. So I'm not 100% sure where I'm gonna put these. My guess is that I'm gonna put them on our front porch. I can't tell if they're supposed to be pillows or if they're supposed to be like seat covers. So my first initial idea was to put these on our two rocking chairs out in the front. But if the seats wind up being like way too small, then I'll probably just put them on either side of our little bench that's out there. So I thought that this was a great little steal. Not too bad. I'm glad that I ran after those, <laughs> those bins. Okay, and also while I was there, I did wind up picking up this little basket. I got it all washed up. I also washed this shirt just for your knowledge. <laughs> I didn't just put it on. But I got it all washed up and looking nice and clean. And I'll probably wind up using this somewhere in our Christmas decor. I just thought it was like classic and sweet and we can always use this kind of stuff, whether it's for Christmas decorations or just holding the girls' books. Ruby doesn't currently have any books in her room and so I did kind of want to get something that we could keep those in. But also while I was at the bins, I did find these antique books. So the first one that I found is the Random House Dictionary of the English Language, which clearly you guys can read that so easily. Anyway, I just thought it was cool. It's nice and thick. Thick books like this are really great for stacking or just kind of creating vignettes, which is something that I'm learning about and trying to be better at. Okay, so this one isn't quite an antique though. This one is from 1950. The other three are definitely antiques. I told you that I pick up a lot of like red books during Christmas time and I've gotten a lot of vintage ones and so I don't need like a million 
vintage and antique books. And so I'm gonna start kind of facing out some of my more vintage ones and trying to keep it to solely antique ones. But man, even look at the pages and the binding and everything, this thing is beat. <laughs> This is Eben Holden, A Tale of the North Country. This thing is falling apart, look at that. <laughs> All right, and this is copyright 1900 for this book. So 123 years old. This is called The Steel Series of the Natural Sciences. <gasps> 14 Weeks in Psychosis, what is this? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have picked this up, I'm a little bit nervous now. But then it says physics. 14 weeks in physics, not psychosis. I don't know. <laughs> I've got psychosis. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, wow. But this one is copyright 1878. So this one's really old. Okay. And the last one that I got is the UP Trail by Zane Gray. And let me check on the date on this one. I just love the, I love what these look like when you open them up. They're all so beautiful. Okay. And this one is copyright 1918. Anyway, I thought that this one was special just because the UP Trail started here in Omaha. There's all kinds of Union Pacific stuff around here. There's even that show called Hell on Wheels that is a story about the UP and how it started in Omaha and Council Bluffs. Anyway, so I thought that that was really good just for our regional history. All right, and these last few things, I didn't find this time at the Goodwill Bins, but I did find them in other times at the Goodwill Bins. First is just this cute little wreath. I thought that this was really precious and I've kind of made a mention decision to stop trying to buy greenery at the Goodwill or Goodwill bins and maybe just like decide to invest in some nicer pieces maybe just like one a year or so but every once in a while you will find something that is good quality and pretty realistic looking and so I thought that this was cute with the little pine cones on it okay and last I did find these two little cute Christmas ornaments I found these at the bottom of the bins this one is so cute it's just got these little stitchings that say Merry Christmas it's supposed to be like a little present I love anything that you can't tell what time period it's from you know like this is probably made I don't know, in the 80s or 90s, but I love that it looks like so timeless. There was also this one next to it that again has this like beautiful little cross stitch to it. Just a sweet little Christmas tree. And so I'm excited to put these on our tree this year. I'm planning on doing a Christmas tree decorate with me video in just a couple weeks. So I hope you guys look out for that. I'm trying to get you guys this Christmas content as soon as possible, but I first have to like get myself into the mindset because I'm just like not there yet. Honestly, this video is what's gonna launch me into Christmas if I'm being honest with you. But I have to admit that I still have like one if not two more Christmas thrift hauls. <laughs> you guys, I had such an awesome year finding amazing pieces at ridiculous prices. The best part about it is that so much of it is like vintage and antique and made out of natural materials and I cannot wait to get all of this up for you guys. So if you guys are actually looking for like some Christmas inspiration, decorate, like home tour stuff. I actually have an entire Christmas playlist from all of my stuff last year. After lots of mishaps, I was so proud of our Christmas home tour last year. So you guys are welcome to watch that just while you're decorating your own homes or if you're looking to just get into that Christmas spirit. So I'll link that here at the end of the video. But everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. I love a thrift haul. I wish I didn't love these so much. I've got to keep my dollars in my pocket and keep my house from exploding. But these are so fun for me. So I look forward to doing even more of these. Keep your eyes out because there is more of this content coming. Okay. All right, y'all. We'll see you next time. Bye.